Hey guys, I'm Shelby. Thanks for clicking on my video. If you're new here, please like and subscribe if you like this video. It really means a lot. So today I'm going to be focusing on my vanity and makeup storage area. So my vanity contains a large long drawer. That's where I keep about 90% of my actual makeup collection. I do also have the Alex 9 drawers and I do use two of those drawers to house extras, um, foundation shades, blush shades, lipstick shades that are just not current for the season. I do keep in there and then I will switch them out when the new season comes around. So currently in my vanity I do have my spring and summer shades that I'm not really wearing much of and I am going to switch them out with the ones that are in the Alex 9 drawers for my fall and my winter shades. I will also be cleaning the actual products as well as the containers in my vanity that are you know, housing those products as well as kind of reorganizing and making the space work for the new products coming in. So yeah, if you'd like to watch me organize, clean, and switch out my makeup products. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take out the organizers inside my vanity. That way I can see everything all laid out. And then I'm going to start going through every section individually and pick out products that I'm not going to be using for the so starting with my foundations right now. Currently I'm kind of in between shades. I am beginning to lose my tan definitely, but I'm not able to wear my super tan shades. So what I want to do is keep one shade. I'm actually going to leave this NARS in there. This is and this shade Santa Fe. So this works perfectly for me when I'm super tan. So I'm gonna leave this one in here, that way I can mix it in with my more paler shades until I am strictly just using those pale shades. So the rest of these I am going to move into my storage. So my concealers, these two shades are much darker um, than this one. I do have another one in my storage that I'll be moving into here, but this is a nice pale shade for me right now. This is also foundation. Um, this CoverGirl powder, I'm pretty sure it works for me in the summer as well, so I'm gonna move that into my storage. Okay, so foundation's done. Um, so this little section here is just primers. I have a lot of super glowy products in here. Um, I really like to be super glowy, dewy in the spring and summer, so really this is what I use every single day regardless of what else I'm putting on my face. So this is going to stay, but I don't need so many glow products coming into the fall and the winter. So you want to put all of these into storage and just leave this product out for now. And then these are two little samples of the Smashbox. Um, primerizer and the oil and I like these at all times as well. So coming in now to this section here, this is all just tools, this is all going to stay in here. This section here is bronzers, powders, highlights, things like that. So in the spring and summer I can get away with more like rosy and darker gold bronzy toned highlighters and things like that. Um, when I'm more pale, I need more like champagne and light gold colors and things like that. So this will be switching up. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Luminous Light. This is just a little bit too dark for me when I'm super pale. Um, it kind of gives me a pink overall appearance to my skin. So I will be putting that in storage for now. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Omri Z Highlighter. I love this stuff. It does look good on me pretty much year round. It's just a really light pale gold, so this will be staying in the collection. This is just a Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Classic Ivory. Um, this will work for me even at my palest, so that's going to stay there. The Hard Candy Tiki. This is actually considered a bronzer, but it is definitely a highlighter. I use this every single day at work because it's not super in your face it's not super super glowy it's just a nice natural looking highlight so I'm going to be keeping this in here my lid is broken so I just make sure that it sits just like that in here so the butter bronzer from physicians formula this is in the shade bronzer I do also have it in light bronzer which I will be putting in here for when I'm paler so this will also be going into storage and this is my loose powder from Too Faced the peach perfect um, I use this stuff year-round. It doesn't matter what shade, what color I am, so this will be staying in here as well. 
Um, this section here, um, more blush and highlight. This will be switching up quite a bit actually. So this is the Becca Champagne Pop from Jaclyn Hill. Um, you can see that I, I use this quite a bit. This will be staying in here. I can use this pretty much year round whether I'm super pale or nice and tan. This is another Jaclyn Hill one. So this is her Prosecco Pop and then her blush. in pompel mousse. Um, so this is actually one that I typically will only use in the summer. The gold is super gold and it only looks good on me when my skin is super tan. So this will be going into storage. I just have a mini of the Becca um, Opal. And so this works on me pretty much year round too. This will be staying. Um, this is the Morphe Spark Highlighter. This one is pretty kind of peachy. Again, really only works on me when my skin is super tan, so this will be going into storage. This is a new one I just got from my Ipsy. Um, it's a baked highlighter, Estate. I'm a ma I don't know if it's called Do Me or if it's called Lit, but um, I haven't really played with this one too much to really know what it's gonna work best on, so I'm gonna keep this in here right now. Same thing with this one, I just got this in my Ipsy. It's from IBY in Private Jet. Um, I have this one on right now and it just looks really, really nice. It's super dewy, super wet looking. Um, again, I'm not really sure how this is going to do on super pale skin, but I'm going to keep it in here and play with that until I have that decision. Okay, so this is the ColourPop Highlighter in Flexitarian. This stuff is actually super, super pale. I don't even know why I had it in here during my spring and summer months, but this only works on me in the winter, so I will be keeping this in here. This next one is on the cusp. This is the ColourPop um, highlighter from Kathleen Lights. This one can kind of go either way. If I'm super, super pale, you can sort of see it on the cheek. So I'm going to keep it in here until I have reached my palest winter shade. And once I reach there, I'll be putting it into my storage. This is a ColourPop blush. It's called Birthday Suit. It's a really pale pink. And I really only wear pinky shades like that in the um, in the summer when I'm super tan. So this is going to go in storage for now. Another ColourPop blush. This is Cruel Intentions. This one is a nice berry tone that I actually prefer to wear berry tones in the fall and winter. So this is definitely staying in my main drawer right now. This one is called Between the Sheets. This is my absolute favorite ColourPop blush. I actually have a backup in my drawer right now. It's just kind of a nude toned. Um, it's also, also kind of mauve -y. I use this one year round, so this one's definitely staying in the drawer. I have a couple single little mini Tarte Amazonian clay blushes. Um, so let's see, Prim. This is kind of a purpley mauve nude. Um, again, this one works on me around. This is going to stay in my drawer for now. This one, Entertain, is a peachy pink. This one's definitely more of a summer, uh, spring shade for me. I'm going to go in my storage. And Ecstatic, this is a straight peach. This is going in storage. I don't wear peaches in the fall and the winter. This is a new one to me. I just recently got, again, in my Ipsy, the Phase Zero in Cotton Candy. Way too pastel pinky pink for me for the winter, so this is going to go in storage for next spring. And last one that I have is the Kaleidoscope in Prom Queen. So Prom Queen is a super peachy, shimmery shade, again, going into storage for spring and summer next year. So in this container, I do have a lot of my smaller palettes that will fit inside of my drawers. A lot of these are just going to stay. They work either way for me. Um, so I have the Lorac Pro, Lorac Pro 3. It's pretty warm slash neutral toned and this actually does work really well for um, fall and winter shape. This Artistry Bad Habits palette. This is actually definitely a fall winter palette for me. Um, so yeah, definitely keeping it in the drawer here. I just have the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. No sense in trading that out. It has perfect shades in there for fall and for um, summer for me. So it works year round. This one I might actually go ahead and move into my storage. It comes with the California blush as well as the Hula Bronzer. The Hula Bronzer might work for me year round, but these two things, um, also the Waltz Up highlighter, will only work for me when I'm super tan. So I'm going to be keeping the, putting that into my storage. 
the Tartlet Toasted. I use this palette pretty much year round as well. Um, doesn't matter really, but it does have a lot more like warm tones, good for fall. I have the Tarte Blush Palette. So I got this for Christmas, I think two years ago. Um, has all different kinds of shades, so there's no point in putting that into storage. I'll definitely keep it in here. I just have my Naked 2 Basics Palette. It's super obviously basic, comes with very neutral tones. We'll be keeping that in my drawer. And then this is just a random color pop palette that I have some random shades in. So um, keeping that in here as well. So this section of things is not really going to change up a whole lot. So I don't really play with a whole lot of color on my eyes or anything like that. I'm pretty boring actually and typically like if I'm going to do color I'm going to do sort of more berry tones and deeper purples and things like that in the fall and the winter. Um, and then in the summer and spring I like to stick with more bronzy tones, natural, nude looking things. So I have a lot of like shimmery things in here that are on the, the neutral spectrum and those, this is all staying in here. So I have some Stila glitters, I have a MAC pigment in tan, this is a um, pigment from ColourPop, the Kathleen Lights, the Goat. These are all glitters, pigments, things like that. These are all staying in here. I have a few just little things from Ipsy. These are staying. And then I have a large collection of ColourPop. These all range from like coppers to bronzes to just neutral everyday tones. A lot of glitters and shimmers. These are all staying. Same thing over here. There's really not anything to change up. This is just my mascaras, eyeliners. Um, brow gel, my brow pomade and powder. Um, yeah, there's nothing to change up here. There's no shades to change up. And then this bin is all my little sample size um, lip products and things like that. I also have a Smashbox um, lip gloss in here that is like a peach tone. So this I am actually going to go ahead and put in storage. The rest of this is going to stay. It's just lip glosses. I have a deep, or not really a deep, but kind of a bright true red that I'll wear a lot for um, Ohio State football games and around Christmas time and things like that. So that's all going to stay in that area. Okay, so this top drawer does have my primer sprays and extra little sample size primers and things like that. So if that's something that I want to use, I will come into this drawer just to kind of play around with some things. Um, I do also have little travel size bottles that I usually just will fill up with my bigger bottles and keep those for travel purposes specifically. So nothing coming out of this drawer here. In this little section, I do have bronzery type things, some extras, so I have like some self tan type products, some liquid hula. Um, nothing is really changing in here except I am taking out my butter bronzer and light bronzer. Yeah, light bronzer. And putting that into my actual collection. Okay, so this section here I do have just a random Oprah blush that I just recently got in my Ipsy bag. It's an Oprah blush called All You Need Is Love and it is a perfect like burnt orange type shade for the fall. Definitely putting that into my everyday makeup drawer. Um, this is also where I house all my foundations. So this is gonna be a big section of moving into, again, my makeup drawer. So this is my Clinique Beyond Perfecting in the shade CNO2 Breeze. This is my favorite foundation aside from that NARS one and I have this in a fall and winter shade. Definitely moving that into my everyday I have a lighter shade of the Maybelline Fit Me in the Dewy and Smooth. I have this in 110 Porcelain. This is, again, my fall and winter shade. We'll be moving that over. Um, True Match W4. This is definitely my spring summer shade. This is going to stay here. And Infallible Pro Glow 202. This is my fall winter shade um, from this line. This is another one of my favorite foundations, so I'll be moving this into my everyday collection. Going to concealers, the Born This Way in Fairest definitely works for me for fall and winter. I'll be moving that into every day. The rest of this is just kind of, again, my sample size to get to play with stuff. A couple of these, like this one I just got in my Ipsy bag, it is way too pale for me right now. So I'm just going to leave this in here and I will play with it once I get to that shade. The rest of it, little mini concealers, mini trial, try on stuff. We'll get to that when we get to it. So this section is all of my lip balms that I use before bed and things like that. I'm not going to be changing that out. 
This section, however, is all of my fall and winter shades of lipsticks and lip glosses and things like that. So I'm going to be trading out a lot of these. Um, I have two trial size Smashbox. Um, what are these on? The Always On Liquid Lipstick. I love this formula. Um, so this one is in Out Loud. It's like a super burnt orange. I love this color um, for fall. And this one I think is called Driver Seat. It doesn't have the name on it. I'm going to be putting both of those out into my display. This one is just a lipstick from I think Forever 21 that I got forever ago. It's just a nude. Super pretty. Comes with a lip gloss on the bottom. I actually like to display this in the fall and winter so I'll be putting that out. I have two of the Wet n Wild liquid cat suits. Definitely fall shades. One's kind of a berry and one is more of like a kind of a vampy shade on me, honestly. So we have Give Me Mocha and Berry Recognize. So I have two of the Sephora liquid lipsticks, one in 23 and one in 41. Again, I kind of have like a warmer nude and then more of a gray, to gray toned nude. Um, perfect for fall. I have two of the NYX lingerie. Once again, I have sort of a, a berry toned nude and then more of a cool toned nude. Again, perfect for fall. So we have 04 and 12. Lots of color pops. So I have an ultra satin lip, ultra satin lip, and an ultra matte lip. So the, this ultra satin is in Mystic, this one's in Frick and Frack, and this is in Bubble. So the Mystic's a nice deep berry. The Frick and Frack is more of a mauve tone when it dries down, and then the Bumble is a really warm nude. Love these colors for the fall. So the rest of the ColourPop, I do have a lippy stick and a regular lipstick. So the lippy stick is an LBB. It's a matte and it is a super deep berry toned. And then the lipstick is in Little League. And again, it's sort of a warm, nudie berry tone. So again, perfect for fall. We'll be keeping that out on display. I have a random Huda Beauty liquid matte in Trophy Wife. Super deep berry toned. Again, we'll only wear this in the fall, winter time. We'll be putting that out on display. These little guys are all the minis that I have. This one, I actually have a second one already in my minis, so this will just be staying in here for now. This Marc Jacobs one is in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I love this one. It's a um, deeper berry tone though, so again, this will be going into my everyday makeup collection. And then this one is the Ciate Glitter Flip. So this is the type that you put on your lips, you rub your lips together, and then it turns um, glittery. I really like it. It's called Infamous, and it's a berry toned as well, so I'll be putting those into my drawer. Then my classic lipsticks that I have, I have Plum Rose from Milani. Again, it's like a nice berry tone, so that can go into um, my everyday drawer. This one is Rum Raisin from Revlon. This is one of my favorites and always has been for the fall and winter. It's just super easy to throw on and it's, it's a great fall shade. And Touch of Spice from Maybelline. So these are the lipsticks that I have on display for spring and summer that I will be putting back into my store. I'm just going to take a second look through here. There are a couple colors that I have in here that will work for both spring, um, spring, summer, and fall. So I'm going to be putting them back into here. Mm. Okay. So these ones are more of just the warm toned nudes. I have kind of like a berry nude here. Um, yeah, so these are all just going to be staying on display. These are all the specifically like super bright, bold colors or peaches, things like that, that I'm not gonna be wearing as um, the season comes around to fall and winter.
I also checked the back for the expiration times on these products, the cream specifically, because they don't last too long. Um, most of the ones that I have for fall and winter right now, I've had for under a year. So I'm just kind of checking and making sure that everything looks okay, smells okay. And as long as it performs how it's supposed to, then it will stay in the drawer. Otherwise, I'll be throwing it out. Now everything is cleaned off, it's time to put everything back and organize it. Um, I liked the way that I had the drawer inserts and everything set up last time, so I'm just going to keep it that way for now. Um, so this top area here, I like to keep my foundations, as well as my concealers. And then here I have my primers and like glowy products um, to find everything. In the back section here, I have the tools that I don't reach for necessarily all the time. It's a little harder to get to in this drawer. This um, vanity is the Mom Vanity by Ikea. To keep eye drops, hand sanitizer, makeup wipes, Q-tips, things like that. So I'm just gonna go to this drawer. This is my blushes and highlighters. And then this drawer is face powders. I might kind of switch it up a little bit so that these stand up straight. So we'll just see how that gets, how that goes here. This section is all the eyeshadows. over to eye products. I might actually condense some of this down because again I barely ever use eyeliner and things like that for just a regular work day. Um, it's really just mascara and brows so I don't really feel the need to keep all these different types of eyeliners in the drawer. Um, so this is the mascara that I use every day and this is the brow product that I use every day. Um, aside from that I have two different brow gels for different purposes. I'll be keeping both of those in here. Um, okay, so all the mascara. So I also have this mascara. It is a waterproof mascara and I use waterproof on my lower lashes So that will be staying for sure Mascaras Okay, so coming out of these three mascaras. They're all minis They might even be somewhat empty too. So let's check that out Yeah, this Marc Jacobs one is completely empty. I'm gonna get rid of that And let's see which this one my Lancome. There's still some in that. I might keep that in here to get through that. I just got this one. Amazon sent it to me actually, so I'm going to be keeping that. I don't think um, I've used it yet, so I'll just put it in my drawer for now until I need it. Okay, so eyeliners. Okay, so this is the only potted gel liner that I have. I'll be keeping that in here. Of these. This is my black that I use to tight line. As far as liquid liners, all three of these are liquid black liners. I don't need to keep three of them in here. So 
Um, this one's a brush tip. Both of these are felt tips. I'm going to keep the brush tip in here and then I'll keep this felt tip in here put this one away. These are also brow pencils. I'll use both of them up, so I'll just keep it in here. Um, so I base with that. Actually, I put that with primers, eyeshadow, and then lip products. Okay, I think the drawer is done. Here I'm just using the Mrs. Meyers Lavender Scented Multi-Surface Spray to wipe the entire vanity down. Moving on to cleaning the makeup brushes. I do have this little mat that I can suction cup to the inside of my sink to get a really good deep clean into my brushes. And I just use Dawn dish soap in order to clean my brushes. It is a good antibacterial option and it also gets rid of all the greasy residue from the uh, cream products and things like that. This is the ColourPop, um, what is this called? Super, super Shock Cheap 